Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today is Jesus coming from Joke Moiwa, her son who is popularly called First Peace, and her granddaughter. Well, a few months ago, Joke Moiwa's picture and her granddaughter's picture started circulating on social media saying that they are looking for the young girl in the picture. But a few hours before 24 hours, the girl was found. Apparently, there is an underlying story to this, although a lot of people in the comment section who knew the background story said, this child is not missing, she is with her mother. Now, the story behind the missing girl is that. Veteran actress Jokemu Iwa's son used to live here in Nigeria and as a child with a lady here in Nigeria, over the years, he decided to move abroad to find greener pastures. On getting there, he met another lady who he fell in love with and now they are expecting a child together. But his Nigerian wife and a baby mama, as it claims, didn't know about this lady abroad. She didn't even know that Moiwa, Joke Moiwa, actress, and her son have been planning to get a child from her to send to her father, who is Joke Moiwa's son abroad. As the Lord will have it, the little girl was playing with Joke Moiwa's phone and the message of Joke Moiwa's son came into her phone. And that was how the Nigerian baby mama found out about the plans of Joke Moiwa's son, first piece, and her mother on how to get her daughter from her send her abroad and then forget about her. These were the things she read in the message. On saying this, she decided to write down a note letting them know the reason why she is leaving. Apparently, this young lady has been living with Joke Muiwa as a wife to her son and hoping that one day her husband is going to come back for herself and her daughter. Well, first based son of Joke Muiwa, having the knowledge that his baby mama has left his mother's house with their child decided to put out the post that the child is missing and before we knew it the whole of social media shared this picture looking for the child of course joke Muiwa is perceived as an educator a veteran one or who is filled with knowledge and an elder as such learning this kind of allegations against her seems like a profile that doesn't suit her at all is nothing like what we know about the veteran actor Joke Muiwa. Well, on saying this, the son, first base son of Joke Muiwa, decided to put out a disclaimer letting the world know that, well, this is not true, and this is how it went down between himself and this said maybe mama. He shared on social media saying, in response to the false and misleading rumors circulating, I would like to clarify the truth regarding recent allegations. I was never married to anyone in Nigeria and if there is an evidence of my marriage with Dolakbo or any form of introduction, I implore the party involved to bring it out or provide it. I do not know where her parents live and I have never ever been to their house before to talk about marriage or anything. There has been issues of infidelity from this particular lady for years, but I'm always quiet and won't utter a word. The disrespect to my mom is just too much and it's unbearable for me again, even with the fact that she was having an affair with someone in my mom's church, which she confessed herself last year and her father was justifying the act. Fine, it's normal to have a child with someone which I think protecting the child's future matters and taking full responsibility like I have always done is what matters to me at this point. I would like to clear that, yeah, that there is no legal marriage, no introduction, and no any form of engagement with her, myself, and the Lago and both families. I take care of my child, which everyone knows, and as the mother of my child, I play my part to support her and the family in terms of seeking for an admission, paying for the tuition fees of her siblings, at Olabisi Banjo University and financing so many things which I won't like to bring online. And upon that, a junior sister still disrespects. We are peaceful people in my family and hundreds of people that have crossed our paths can testify to that. I stopped talking to her father when he was insisting I help him finish the uncompleted house and buy him a Toyota car. The police and lawyers are presently doing their job and the only thing we want is to have full access to the child, which the mother of the child has written and undertaken to grant us full access to the child. My mom has done nothing but good to the family. We helped her search for jobs in five different places. 
She read computer science and we got a job at George and Dukes in Ibado, Akala Express to be precise. She failed the interview because she doesn't know anything about what she studied in school. She's claiming we want to get a child from her, which is not true because she possesses the international passport of the child and it's not possible to even do a visa for the child, a minor without the mother's consent and without the international passport. I have decided to say more because of the little princess Athena because I feel she won't be young for life and she will grow up to see all these things. Once again, I am not married to the rapper and there is no form of engagement, no introduction as we do not even know where our parents reside. The only thing we do is talk on phone and the last time I even spoke with him is more than two years ago. I have lots of threats message from herself and our friends, family concerning all this that why the police has been fully involved we do not have anything to hide as we believe we just have to tell our own side of the story the lakwa's father is claiming to be an opc member and he has been saying we want to oppress them because we think we are public figures my mom Jokemuiwa, has done nothing but the good for the lakwa and her family both financially and physically she took the lakwa as a child meanwhile the lakwa sees her as a witch which she has been claiming my mother wants to poison her and I have a proof of that which will be attached to this post. Nevertheless, the only thing we want is full access to the child any time, which I think is the utmost thing. Attached to this is the video of Dolakbo and her family at the police station with my mom and my family members too. When I get back to Nigeria, a proper DNA test will be carried out and if the result says I own the child, I will take 100% responsibilities like I've always been doing without the mother's contribution. Thank you, first place. This was Chokemu Iwa's son sharing this on social media explaining his side of the story. Well, guys, what do you think about this? There are some loopholes in this story by Thespis, son of Joke, and nobody should come for me. In my opinion, if things had ended peacefully between Chokemu Iwa's son and his baby mama, and they already have an agreement between the two of them that I'm going to just take care of my child and I'm coming for my child anytime soon. I don't think they would have a situation of them going to the police station and having to run away with a child and having to post on social media that they are looking for a child when they know fully well that this child is with the mother. And also, if the mother doesn't feel like she has been betrayed then this story will not come to light. And everything Thespis had said, he didn't object to the fact that he was trying to take the child without the mother's consent. All he said is that he was never married to this young lady. Well, guys, let's hear your opinion in the comment section. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.